the as we sort of do some German language tuition. And uh, first thing I want to do today is to welcome you to the show and say hello to Angelica and ask you about today's topic. Hello, Angelica. Hello, Stephen. Yes, today we'll visit Ibn Buren. Um, last time I said I wasn't too sure yet which place with I to visit. And then I had a look and thought, which places are there with I and my my eye <laughs> called Ibn Buren? And um, it brought back some childhood memories. I haven't been to Ibn Buren for absolutely years. Right. Um, but I do have very fond memories, especially of one place. Well, two possibly. And uh -huh. uh, I think you'll probably work out which two places they are and when we get through the sentences. Excellent. Right. OK, now the way this works is I'm going to read a sentence out in German that Angelica has written. And I'm going to be corrected in my pronunciation by Angelica, which is live okay. tuition. <laughs> and then we'll translate a sentence together if you want to read the sentence out as i do then please do if you want to translate it as i work with the translation then please do and at the end we'll go through all the sentences and uh angelic will read them in german which is probably a good idea and i'll read the english translations so without further ado let's make a start with the first phrase and the first phrase is hmm I've not seen these before. Well, I have, but I haven't. So let's have a go. The ehemalige Berg Baustadt Eben Buren ist ein Mittelstadt in Nordrhein-Westfalen. Westfalen. Yeah, that's pretty good. The ehemalige, so ehemalige Berg Baustadt Eben Buren ist eine Mittelstadt in Nordrhein-Westfalen. Okay, so it was the ehemalige, which is. M. M. Oliger. Right. So now we have to translate that. And the translation is going to be close, but you can help, Angelica, please. M. Uh, Oliger. What does M. Oliger mean? The English word is a lot easier. Former. Uh, right. Stadt is a town. Yeah. Berg is. A hill, no, or a mountain, yeah. Mountain Bau is that part of Baum? A part of what? Baum, no, it's not part of Baum, but it's more like Bauen to build, oh. although that doesn't make quite sense here. Bergbau is mining, it's when they're working on the hills. Hmm. And Ermaliga again, we're going to struggle with that. Right, the former, and the next bit is? A mining town. Bergbau what? mining, that is a town. Right, Ibn Buren is a former mining town and is a in the centre of North, North Rhine-Westphalia, which I know is not right. So let's go to the translation then. Well, um, it wasn't in the center. It's a medium-sized town. Uh -huh. um, we've had before, we've had Kleinstadt and Großstadt. We have, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember I, I once mentioned that we we don't have cities and towns like we do in the UK. Uh -huh. uh, we go by size. And uh, yeah. so a small town is a Kleinstadt. And we've had uh, what we call cities which is a group that which has over was it 100,000 people mm -hmm. i can't remember the numbers yeah. now and and then of course we've got those places in the middle mittelstadt mittelstadt exactly it's really logic isn't it <laughs> it is okay <laughs> phrase number 2 uh okay sie liegt zwischen den Städten Rheine im Westen und Osnabrück im Osten die Wahls etwas it was 20 kilometer and felt sind. Ja, sie liegt zwischen den Städten Rheine im Westen und Osnabrück im Osten, die jeweils etwa 20 kilometer entfernt sind. 
I've added that for your benefit because although you don't know Ibn Buren, I do know Rainer. Rainer, Osnabrück, certainly Rainer. We've been to Rainer several times. Mm. It lies between uh, the town of Rainer in the west and Osnabrück in the east. The, uh, the Jeweils, Ye what's this? Yeah, that's sort of each. So it's it's like each of which of those two towns. Uh huh. So it's around twenty kilometers kilometers away. Yeah, they're both. So it's mm. it's right in the middle, so to speak, between Rheine and Osnabrück. We will con confirm that. Uh, it is located between the towns of Rheine in the west and Osnabrück in the east, each of which is about twenty kilometers away. Okay, phrase three. Some numbers for you. Okay, danke schön. Ibn Buren wurde erstmals am 14. April, 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 1146, auch kündlich erwähnt. Well done on the numbers. Yes, Ibn Buren. Ja, now I'm getting it wrong. Ibn Buren wurde erstmals am 14. April 1146 urkundlich erwähnt. Uh, Ibn Buren was founded uh, in, on the 14th of April uh, 1146. <laughs> Or if I missed. At 1146. <laughs> no, and it wasn't founded. Uh, urkundlich. That's a new word. Urkunde is a certificate, so a special document. Okay. And erwähnt is mentioned. So it was first mentioned <sighs> in a document on the 14th of April, 1146. So the first written record of Ibn Buran yeah. uh, it was 14th of April, 1146. And let's see what it says on the translation. <sighs> Ibn Buran was first mentioned in a document on 14th of April 1146. That's what you said. What are you doing? Well, it's 1146, really, isn't it? It sounds like a time phrase otherwise. We say 1922. Yeah, no, we do. You're right. Yeah. Uh, okay. None yeah. of those sentences so far are the memory of me. Right. Okay. But we're coming yeah. to that now. I wasn't around in 1146. No, you weren't. I can guarantee, I can guarantee that's true. In Ivan Buren, gibt es eine Sommer, Sommer, I've got to get the passing right here. Oh. Sommer Rodelbahn. Yeah, that's it. In Ibn Buren gibt es eine Sommerrodelbahn. Right. Okay. So in Ibn Buren, there is a summer, is summer, summer. Mm -hmm. Bahn is a station or similar. Rodel. Yeah, nothing to do with trains as such. No? No. Bus bedeutet Rodel. Rodelbahn is a toboggan run. Ah. But this is one for the summer. A summer you toboggan run. All through the year, yes. Uh, on grass? No. On? Uh, I'm not actually sure what, oh, right. what the, okay. the, the ground bit is. I think it, it looks like a train track. Right. There But, is a... Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, wait till we get to the next sentence. Okay. There is a summer toboggan run in Ibumburan. Uh, first five. Auf echten Holzschlitten geht es einen circa 100 Meter langen Berg in Hab. Hinab. Mhm. In Auf echten Holzschlitten geht es einen circa 100 Meter langen Berg hinab. Hinab. Mhm. Okay. Uh, echten. Echt is real. Real. Allschlitten? Mm, what do you do when you go tobogging? It's a sledge, but it's a wooden one. So real wooden sledges. Right. Uh, a Just real like it's used in the winter when they go down Runway Hill. Okay. If they can't a find a 
Uh, a real wooden sledge goes in a circle? No, circa. Around? It's a, about. Yeah, around. It's, it's about 100 London. meters. Long hill. In up? In up is down. Down. So on real wooden sledges, you go down a mountain about 100 meters long. Okay. Right. The translation is on a real wooden sledge, on real wooden sledges, you go down a mountain about 100 meters long. If you if you remember, some do you have those those um, little train tracks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, you can you can imagine it like that, but it's going down a hill, and the children or adults as well go down on a wooden sledge. Right, and they look mm -hmm. just like the ones that people use in the winter. Yep, we'll have to find a picture of it. Ibn Buran hat oik. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Start again. Ibn Buran hat auk eine Märchenwald. Oh, I made a spelling mistake there. I'm missing a letter. Oh, well. Einen. Einen, exactly. Ibn Buran hat auch einen Märchenwald. Ibn Buran also has uh, Märch is a market. No, that's marked. All oh, right, marked. Märchen. Valtis, Valtis Forest or Wood. Yeah. Märchen. Yeah. Forest or Wood, yeah. Märchen. Märchen. Fairy tale. Ah. A fairy tale. Wood. Where's this? Forest. Mm -hmm. Forest. Okay. Ibn Burun also has a fairy tale forest. So let's just look at that again. Uh, or not. We'll come back to that when Angelica reads it. Phrase seven. Dort gibt es auf Grimsche Märchen so wie zahlreiche Grotten. Grotten. Mm -hmm. Dort gibt es elf Grimsche Märchen so wie zahlreiche Grotten. Uh, elf is the number, ja? Yeah? Ja. Yeah. All right. Uh, so this is where the 11 Grimm's fairy tales uh Zareich, Zareich. No, can you help, please? Zareich is numerous, many, lots of numbers. Zahl is a number. Yeah. Reich means rich, so literally a number rich or number rich, but we would have said numerous. And Grotten are grottos. <laughs> Let's get the translation. Um, okay, and there are 11 Grimm's fairy tales as well as numerous grottos. There are more okay. fairy tales, but they've got 11, the most common ones. And yeah. uh, what they have is they've got them. Um, there, it's a little bit of a, a, a forest or a wood. Mm -hmm. And uh, you go through and every so often sprays out are little buildings uh -huh. um, where you can see the fairy tales and the figures are moving uh, or some of them are. And uh, if you press a button, you can hear the story. Oh, brilliant. This is one of the things I was absolutely enchanted by as a child. When are we going? Don't I say now. When the coronavirus has disappeared. No, 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 no. We don't mention that word. <laughs> okay. Look, Next year. If you're watching this on the replay. That was a long time ago. Um, <laughs> right. And the final phrase for today, phrase eight. Uh, es ist einer der schönsten und altesten, ältesten. Märchenwälder Deutschlands. Mm -hmm. Es ist einer der schönsten und ältesten Märchenwälder Deutschlands. I'm going to finish this on a high. I mean, stumbled earlier. Uh, it is one of the most beautiful and oldest. Uh, oh, my brain's gone. Oh, Märchenwälder. Well, Märchenwald was a fairy tale forest. Märchenwälder is forests. Plural. This is one of the most beautiful and oldest fairy tale forests in Germany. Yeah. I nearly got there. Um, and literal, well, exact translation is it is one of the most beautiful and oldest fairy tale forests in Germany. Shall we start from the beginning again? And this time, yep. So we're going to go back to the beginning, rewind, and 
Press One. Die ehemalige Bergbaustadt Ibbenbüren ist eine Mittelstadt in Nordrhein-Westfalen. Translation is The former mining town of Ibbenbüren is a medium-sized town in North Rhine-Westphalia. Sie liegt zwischen den Städten Rheine im Westen und Osnabrück im Osten, die jeweils etwa 20 Kilometer entfernt sind. It is located between the towns of Rheine in the west and Osnabrück in the east, each of which is about 20 kilometers away. Eben Böhren wurde erstmals am 14. April 1146 urkundlich erwähnt. Eben Böhren was first mentioned in a document on 14. April 1146 or 1146. Or 1146. Or 1146. Press 4. In Eben gibt es eine Sommerrodelbahn. Translated as there is a summer toboggan run in Ibn Buren. Auf echten Holzschlitten geht es einen circa 100 Meter langen Berg hinab. On real wooden sledges you go down a mountain about 100 meters long. Ibn Buren hat auch einen Märchenwald. That's a fairy tale wood. I've learned that today. Uh, Ibbenburn also has a fairy tale forest. Or oh, wood. Or oh, wood. Dort gibt es elf Grimmsche Märchen sowie zahlreiche Grotten. And that's what you remember about it. Yeah, the, the fairy, fairy tale. Forest. That was the most. The Sommerrodelbahn as well, but it was the fairy tale wood, uh, which I absolutely loved. Right. I guess still do. There are 11 Grimm's fairy tales as well as numerous grottos. Es ist einer der schönsten und ältesten Märchenwälder Deutschlands. It is the most beautiful and oldest fairy tale, one of the most beautiful and oldest fairy tale forests in Germany. Well, it's got to be old if I remember it from my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm just trying to find that, and then I can just uh, take that off screen. Right, so we've reached I in mm -hmm. your A to Z. Yeah. Next comes J. Where mm -hmm. are we going, Angelica? Uh, I'll let you know later on, like in two weeks' time. So, That's only because I don't know yet. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Okay, <laughs> so we're back in two weeks' time. Okay, we look forward to seeing you in two weeks time. Until then, uh, take care, stay safe. And the final word goes to Angelica. Yeah, well, thank you for watching. And it's tschüss von mir. Und tschüss von mir. Bis später. And stop.